Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm gonna do my review, my first impressions on Sho Shokugeki no Soma. In other words, it's called Food Wars Shok Shokugeki no Soma. Now, I gotta say, like for this episode, it actually did somewhat of a nice job. You know, I mean, just right, just right, just right in the bat, like. Okay, I'm gonna slap you in the face and let me see what you got. <laughs> and that's what it did. Let's go at the beginning. Okay, we have our buddy um, Soma. You know, um, he ends up making some kind of ugly dish, and he ends up facing his father on with a Chinese fried rice for a friend. And so far, she admits that she goes like, "Okay, this guy, this your dad's fried rice is the best." And then he gets really upset about this, but the girl tells him, "Hey, but your fried rice is good too. I just let you know that." He goes like. That's really nice. Now, try this peanut butter tentacles. <laughs> and then she he puts it in her mouth and she goes like she's been like really been consumed by a lot of stuff. And I go like, well, life is a one way trip to to hell. <laughs> That's for sure. Anyways, as the episode keeps its pro keeps its progression in a certain aspect, um, Soma gets um. Annoyed by a land shark, you know, and therefore he, he he made a deal with her like if we can't serve our customer with a certain dish, then we'll shut down or something. And things got a little tough and rough here. The moment he got home the next day, he sees everything's all messed up, and it was a land shark's idea. And later on, he decides to go like, okay, I'll make you a dish, the juiciest dish, no problem. Then he actually made like no tomorrow, and I'm thinking in my mind, God dang it, the way you're cooking it right now makes me want to go grab something to eat right now, okay? I'm not playing. It's doing its well, good, well job to actually replace Kofuku graffiti. <laughs> Anyways, as the episode progresses on, he gives her the dish, and she goes like, she can't resist herself. She eats it, she goes like, this is not what I wanted, but I can't stop. He goes like, oh, okay, um, if you can't stop, whatever. He takes the dish, he goes like, what? I won't leave you alone, you know? He goes like, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> and her men, uh, her, her men and her ends up foodgasming everywhere, you know, that kind of thing. And then I just go like, well, ain't that a B. <laughs> the next day, his father's going to shut down the restaurant and he's going to be gone for a couple years or so. He tells his son to go to this certain school. You're going to enjoy it. And the school he goes to is actually a very tough one, like one of the high elites. And we we it was told like um only ten percent will fail or graduate or something. And I'm going like holy mother it man. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. And after the credits are ending, we see to it that there's there's this blondie chick I believe. I and her name's Arena. The way how it was said at the end, and it looks like it's gonna get a little crazy. And I'm actually looking forward to. It. Let's see what it got. Let's see what it ha what's what's it got, you know. So actually, this series might be interesting, despite maybe some fanatic service here and there. It actually caught my attention, so I I'm actually looking forward to see where this goes. Okay, a good a show to replace something that could get me hungry right now, and I'm freaking hungry right now. But you know, I won't I can't be, I won't be able to eat until like maybe a couple hours later, due to the fact that. I'm going to eat out soon. So I'm just going to end it here, people. I'm off of zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next in my next video, right? Peace out. Bye-bye.